Oh man, how oh, gross. If there's not corn in this thing, it ain't no copper light. Bit of a loose stool on that one. So we got all of these chunks of copper light from Granny G and she was nice enough to one, send us these little cards, little info cards on these. So I'm gonna be putting these up maybe in the corner or something as we're cutting them so you can see what kind of copper lights we are cutting. And yes, she was nice enough to wrap a lot of these <laughs> in TP. I love it. Makes me so happy. It's so funny. So <laughs> we'll check out our first one here. And uh, I have never cut this stuff open, so I don't know what to expect with it. But <laughs> yeah, I say that's that's about right. You know, it's brown. The answer is no. Does not stink. Not yet. Maybe. Let's check out this loose stool. This one broke away a little bit on us. On one side, at least. Well, heck, that is pretty. That's the first. That's the first time I've ever said that about that. <laughs> one of these is really pretty. Oh man, how oh, gross. I can't believe this. <laughs> I'm gonna rinse my hands off, grab another piece. <laughs> uh, this one. Seems a little bit more intact, maybe a little less fiber in the diet. We're gonna cut it, see what's hiding inside. <laughs> ha! That one was a stinker, literally. And oh golly, that is super pretty actually. Man, if the stuff wasn't so crumbly, you know, make some slabs and calves from it. That's interesting. So one of the things Granny G said that she wants to do with some of these pieces is take a peek at them under a microscope, which I think is pretty cool that she is passionate about this stuff. And why not? It's cool. Really, really cool. And we have a lot of this stuff to cut open. And we have a few pieces. And they're still in the bags here, but there's some pretty big pieces that we're going to be cutting open. She also sent over a pine cone that I'm going to be cutting in half as well. A little egotized pine cone. That's pretty cool. For our next cut, hopefully this stinker will stay intact. She's drawn a line on there for us to cut. That's exactly where I'm going to place it. Right along there. Well, this one was another chip off the old plop, but we got a pretty good on that line there. Mmm, that's really, really interesting. I'll be honest, don't know what I'm looking at other than it's pretty. Almost looks like calcite in there. I don't know what I would expect from a fossilized uh, piece of duty, but this is about what I'd expect seeing it cut open. Hmm. Next piece is, got a little line on it right there, it's where we'll cut it. And I'll be honest, this looks like a rock to me. But I am not an expert in copper lights and I could say this is the most experience I've ever had with them. So, yeah. So it is <clears throat> starting to stink in here. I honestly didn't think it would, and it is. It stinks. It's kind of like an oily, fuely smell. This one, it's got some cool stuff going on in there. There we go. But it's it's light. Very, very light. Yeah, this man, this stuff is so unstable. As soon as I touched it to the saw, I just started falling apart. As to be expected, I suppose, from this kind of material. Hopefully, we'll get a few more good cuts in here. We got some bigger pieces, and hopefully, they're a little better. Our next chunk is a little bit bigger, but it's got something really cool right there. Now, this one is labeled as possible copper light, so it might not be. And I'm looking at it, and it looks very, very brittle. She wants to cut right here. I would cut it maybe this way. Um, I'm afraid that as we start cutting it, this side is just going to start chipping off. So that is the fear with it. But we will try our best. Mm -hmm. 
this one was so much more solid and it cut very good just a little chipping at the end i don't know what to expect from it it'd be cool if those colors ran deep but oh my gosh what is this is this an agatized turd <laughs> i know she said it was possible a possible piece oh my gosh that is so pretty oh my goodness Ah, love running into stuff like this. So cool. You experts in copper lights, if you think this is a chunk of it, I'd say down here it definitely kind of looks like it. Golly, can you believe that? That is so cool. <laughs> Even if it's not, that's beautiful. If it is copper light, I want more agatized copper lights. Anyway, we got more cool cuts. This is definitely my number one. Number one favorite one so far. Even if it's not a copper light, that's so cool. This next one is also a possible copper light, but it is really cool if it is because it has pyrite. The note says it's thought to be possible fish copper light. This is really pretty. Look at the colors down here. That's cool. So we're going to cut that open and we'll see. And then we're going to change it up a little bit and cut that pine cone. And then we'll get back into copper lights. Very solid cut. Makes me happy. I got a little nervous as I was cutting. I'm like, I hope this one doesn't break because it's already gorgeous. Oh, that could be the prettiest piece of copper light ever if it is. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, boy. It'd be fun to get like a follow up on all these if they are or not, you know, or people leave comments with the timestamps that would help out too. That's really pretty. That pyrite. I've never actually cut pyrite. I think, well, micro pyrite and ammonites, but such a solid piece of pyrite. This is the first really, really cool. That'd be look, that would look really cool polished. Now we're changing it up. This one probably looks more like copper light than anything else. <laughs> but this is an agatized pine cone from Morocco. And we're going to cut it open. And um, I think it's going to be pretty cool inside. I've heard good things. I was very nervous for that. Really glad that it stayed intact. Let's check it out. Oh, <laughs> Man alive, that is so beautiful. Get out of here. It's got geode pockets inside the pine cone. Are you kidding me? I don't know how these things get the way that they are. But it's magnificent, isn't it? So sweet. Now the one we've all been waiting for. <laughs> this one is a potential spiral copper light. Um, and I just now realized, I think some people call it coprolite. Coprolite? Coprolite? Tomato? Tomato? I don't know. I've always called it coprolite. But it says she's trying to determine whether this is a spiral coprolite or a segmented one. And, but it's probably just a crocodilian coprolite. So we'll cut it open and help her figure out what it is. Hopefully it stays intact. That's the hope. I'm going to cut it right along that line, right down the middle there. Holy moly, that is a stinky chunk of copper light. Oh my goodness. I'm going to get copper lightus. The more I cut this thing, the more it falls apart. And it's just like just chipping, 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 chipping. I feel like it's going to do that the entire way. And I don't know what to do with it. I don't want to just keep having pieces break off. I don't, that's already kind of tainted as it is. I don't know. I am going to pause on this one. Probably not gonna. You're probably not gonna get to see what I do with it because I'm gonna have to send some pictures to Granny, see what she wants me to do, and then I'll come back to it at another time. But I just I don't want to proceed with this one at this moment, so I'm gonna pause on this. Sorry. Our next one is a big boy, big old pile, and I am good with words. So salacious. That's not right. Silicious. Anyways, that's what it is. We're gonna cut it open. 
I see a huge fracture right there. Looking at all these details and stuff, oh, there's another fracture right there. I'm worried about this one. I'm going to try to avoid these fractures and this, and I'm going to cut it right down the middle there. I have a feeling this one's going to fracture as well, because these things are stinker beans. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo. Yes! Minimal. Very minimal fractures. That's what's up. Just this little guy and like another little bit. So I'm excited to see. Let's do it. Interesting. It's kind of got a bit of a purpley. Man, we're lucky this thing didn't break. Look at these massive fractures. That material would make really beautiful cabochons. <laughs> so, Gary G, get a saw, get to slabbing, get some equipment to polish, and get to polishing. You got this. <laughs> All right. So, we got actually. Two more really big cuts. This guy that I just saw where it's from, it is from Montana, and I'm now dreading it because rocks from Montana are very hard. This is a very unique looking piece. If it was mine, I wouldn't cut it. I would leave it because it's so cool. Granny G in her notes says that this may be coprolite if seed inclusions are found in it. So folks, if there's not corn in this thing, it ain't no coprolite. So we did get a little chippage at the, right at the end there. But for the most part, this thing is intact. I don't know what to expect, and I don't even know what seed inclusions would look like, but here we go. Well, that's pretty interesting. That's very, very pretty. If you see seed inclusions, let me know. We got one more to do. It's not the roundest, but it's definitely the largest. So this one is more of a pile. <laughs> uh, she calls it a poo patty with oolitic rust on top. And what she wants is, and again, I can see fractures running throughout it. Um, she wants me to cut it down the middle and then, oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Cut it down the middle and then Gosh, it looks like the Millennium Falcon. Sorry, I'm squirreling. Cut it down the middle and then make one slab so she can look at it under a microscope. If we can get it through the middle without it fracturing, absolutely. So let's try. The issue with this one, it wasn't the hardness. It was the length. You start getting into this over here and it just made it impossible so I had to lift it up really high and just kind of walk it in. Let's check this thing out though. That is so pretty. It's like mossy. It's like moss agate. Holy moly, that is so pretty. It's almost got like eyes in here. The two, that, <laughs> as you'd expect, the two that were agity are my favorites. Shwell, I will try to get a slab from this, and then we'll see you after that. Well, that is probably going to be as good as a slab I can get with that long of a piece. That was, it was looking good, and then it just got away from me. Anyways, let's check it out. Just like the other side. Now that looks like copper light. <laughs> oh boy. That's really, really pretty. Granny G, you will have to do some follow up in the comment section to let me know and all of us know what you think about these. And um, I'm going to go inside and get warmed up. Thanks for watching. 